additional problems on calculating pH of strong acids and bases. Now, strong acids and bases completely ionized. So if we have 1.0 molar of HCl, it's going to dissociate 100% into 1.0 molar H plus and 1.0 molar, I don't know why I'm writing it like this, but uh, 1.0 molar uh, Cl uh, minus chloride ion. And we're not really worried about that. We're just, this is what we need here, a hydrogen ion concentration, because pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium or hydrogen ion concentration. So um, that happens to be one here. So what raised, so when you're doing log uh, functions, is what raised to, uh, Oh, 10 raised, the base is here, 10, 10, I'm sorry. 10 raised to what power is equal to one? So that's going to equal zero because anything raised to the zero power is one. Okay, or you can just plug it in, negative log of one, and you'll get zero in your calculator. All right, number, or the next one, calculate the pH of one molar of nitric acid is another strong acid. So um, you start with one point, sorry, 0.1 molar. If you start with 0.1 molar of that, you're going to end up with 0.1 molar hydrogen ion concentration. So just take the negative log of that. Uh, and the same thing here, um, log base 10. So 10 raised to what power is 0.1. Um, so punch that in your calculator, it should be one. pH is equal to one. All right, moving on here. Um, this time we have uh, okay. This time we have um, it's asking us for pH all, for all of these. Um, we have a strong base, so this is an Arrhenius base. It's a it's a base in any definition, but so this is going to. Uh, but it's a strong base, so it's going to dissociate 100%. So if you start with a concentrated uh, concentration of 5 times 10 to the negative 2 molar of NaOH, you're going to get that same concentration of OH. So we know the uh, hydroxide uh, concentration is also because it completely uh, ionizes. All right, so to get uh, the pH, we'll, we'll first get the pOH section that off. So the pOH is going to be the negative log of the OH concentration. So let's plug that in our calculator. Negative log of uh, 5 times 10 to the negative 2. Um, I got uh, one point 1.301. Now that's the pOH, so pH plus pOH equals 14 at 25 degrees Celsius, which is what we assume in all these problems, unless we're told otherwise. So 14 minus the answer we just got, 12.6989. Um, so here we go. Three significant figures in our concentration means we need, what did I, did I just say three? I meant two. Uh, two significant figures in our concentration means we need two digits after the decimal in our pH. All right, those are the logarithmic significant figure rules for log functions. All right, because this two here uh, correlates to the, the exponent in the concentration correlates to the digits to the left of the decimal. All right, so our answer is going to be pH. Let me go back to my pH is equal to 12 point, and we're going to need two digits after the decimal, so that's going to be 70. All right, so these digits to the right of the decimal all right, are from the coefficient, and the digits to the left are from the exponent. All right? Not directly because we had to subtract from 14. But we still have to conserve those significant figures. All right, moving on. All right, let me 
pick uh, what did I mean? purple maroon let's go blue all right now this one's a little bit tricky because uh, barium hydroxide uh, barium is a um, group two element so it's going to have a two positive cation and hydroxide is a, a one negative um, anion so I'm going to crisscross that to get the formula unit and it's going to be BaOH2 so in other words there's two hydroxides for every barium hydroxide all right otherwise it's a strong base so if we start with 0.1 molar of barium hydroxide you're going to get 0 0.2 molar of hydroxide so because there's there's two of them for every barium hydroxide so we have the uh, OH concentration so we'll do the same steps as we did right above it All right so we're gonna get the POH by we're the POH by taking the negative log of 0.2 negative log of 0.2 right um, what's going on here oh <coughs> man I'm getting attacked by bugs all right what were we all right negative point um, 0 0.6989 dot dot dot. All right, so we have our POH and we know pH plus POH is equal to 14. Where are these bugs coming from? Sorry about this. Uh, 14. Ah, oh, man, I just erased my. All right, sorry. Let me do that again. Erase my calculator. Yes, it's gone. Negative log 0.2. Um, all right, now 14 minus. That stored answer is uh, going to be 13.3. So pH is equal to, um, this one gives us uh, one sig fig, so we need one digit after the decimal, 13.3. Okay. Um, last one. Oh. Now this one you're not going to get on a, on your test, but it's uh, just a kind of tricky question here that was thrown in here. This um, this, this is a strong acid, so it's going to completely 100% uh, ionize. But look at this! Look at the tininess of that number. That's less than the um, ionization of uh, the self-ionization of water. Okay, so if you recall, uh, in the auto-ionization of water. Um, you get a very, very, very small amount of uh, H plus and OH minus just in pure water. All right, so they're both equal to 10 to the negative 7. 10 to the, so this is much smaller. It's like a thousand times smaller than you know uh, what we have in pure water. So the pH of pure water is 7. So the pH of this is not going to be not going to change from that small amount added to uh, pure water so pH is going to be roughly still 7 e even with those two digits it's um, it might be like point uh, 6.999 or something like that but pretty close to 7 do we have more? No, that's it